having your dinner, just a disclaimer, you may want to look away for this next story. Persistent wounds are mostly associated with excruciating pain. Pain that one Janet Aoko knows all too well. She's had a medically stubborn wound that just won't dry up. But she's found a ray of hope from the maggot therapy, where love maggots are inserted into her wound and then left for 48 hours to eat up the dead flesh. And as Saida Swale tells us, maggot therapy is common for diabetic patients and those with low blood levels. Let's take a look. Then chini asubui, kuna ile pain. for a while for like two years. Then I can kushika vidonda kwa toes. Asa I toe kwa na kujengine, na kujengine. Then all of a sudden I can black all of it from kwa knees ikenda chini. I can black. Ni kama ile then I can zakupil vile nyoka upil ile skin. I can zakupil. Every time her foot touches the ground, shock waves are sent down her spine. This from the pain she has to constantly endure from her aching leg. This wound has literally put Janet's life on hold as she nurses it day in, day out. Kwa sasa naishi na sista yangu, hiyo na mekwa kini saidia. Ana haso, ana kuja kini saidia juni na watoto, lazima wende shule. Sisa hiyo na wafanya kila kitu na waprepare, hiyo pia mwenye na mtoto. She hasn't lost hope. Doctors have advised her to try the maggot therapy that will catalyze the rate of healing for her wound, a method known as debriding. Today, she is here to give it a try. We want to remove the dirty dressing. The wound is first cleaned here at the Kenyatta National Hospital and the live maggots then plastered. Oh, maggot debridement therapy is a natural way of removing dead tissue, what we call necrotic tissue from a wound, mm -hmm. or what you can call rotten flesh in a wound. The maggots here act like mini surgeons, accessing places the surgeons would have trouble reaching in order to penetrate the wound and eat up all the dead skin. All Janet wants is the pain to stop now. Hey. The bulk of our patients are those ones with diabetic foot ulcer. Maggot therapy, we have learned to use it for patients whom we see, like uh, some patients who are anemic, because sometimes when your blood is not enough, you will not be able to go to theatre for another, such a procedure. But with maggots, there's minimal bleeding, so it's a better option. The maggots are transported from the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Organization, where they are bred for medicinal purposes, among many other researches conducted there. Uh, it is arguably believed that the technology began after the First World War, before advancement in medicine, and the results very satisfying. For many, the maggot therapy is painless. Na hoptu zikitolewa, mgu, kidondo itabaki safi, nize kusaidika hapo ndo daktere Joey Ford, kama watafanyayo grafting, ama yeni wajwe nini wanatibu, wajwe nini eh, kitu wanatibu, at least hapo rata mini one kama kuna some improvement, kuna changes. Just turn, you sit up. The wound is then neatly bandaged and Janet is allowed to go home and expect it back after 48 hours. Doctors say that between now and the 48 hours, she's expected to feel some slight irritation around the wound. This, they say, is a clear indication that the maggot's job is done. We find her already in hospital. She's in excruciating pain. The maggots are moving up and down, looking for a way out. Nas Osoro unwraps it slowly and carefully. Pain is quite annoying, sir. But of late, when we are dressing, we are still doing it. We are not able. At least, we are controlling the pain. This pain is not just through the time we are dressing. It is quite a lot of pain. But afterwards, at least, we are able. It is not controlled. We are not able to do anything. It is not controlled. The wound looks cleaner after the bandage was removed. Janet was so glad the creepy maggots were being removed. They are now bigger and fatter compared to two days ago after they have fed on the wound. 
they have to be carefully handled and disposed in order not to grow into the next cycle of life to become flies. I can say the rate of success is more than 90%. I don't want to say 100%, it's more than 90%. Because many patients who are scheduled for amputation, we have been able to save their legs. Mm -hmm. Many patients who are supposed to go to theatre for disarticulation, we have saved their butts. Many have opted for the maggot option that saves many from limb amputation, with the World Health Organization terming it as a better option to wound care and healing. I'm told the procedure doesn't necessarily have to be done within the confines of a hospital. It will be 4000 to purchase, mm -hmm. and the clinician applying the maggots will charge their own fee, mm -hmm. a small fee, not more than 2000 usually. For now, though, Janet can only hope for positive results. Saida Swale, Citizen TV, Nairobi.